Hi everybody, this is Gatsad. Earlier today on my social media, I posted a transcript of a kindergarten gulag center of indoctrination, uh, wherein a teacher was uh, uh, offering a lesson on uh, the evils of whiteness. And so uh, I take that original transcript and I've added some stuff to it and uh, I offer it for you here with, but don't worry. This is definitely not racist to teach malleable young minds to hate themselves because of their skin you. So here we go. Teacher, okay class, today we are going to learn about a big bad monster. It is known as white people. Children, oh no, that's scary. Teacher, yes, it's very scary. Non-white people are inherently lovely, peaceful, and kind. However, colonial evil white Christian men have created mischief everywhere. They are innately bad. And remember, what I said is not racist, because if you hate white people as a blanket, blanket statement, that's progressive and not racist. Children, oh no, but we are white. Are we evil? Ms. Reverse KKK? Teacher, yes, you are all evil, and you should all be ashamed of being white. However, you can atone <laughs> by attending Wellesley College and fighting against your racist white parents. Child 1. My parents came to the U.S. in 2007 from Croatia. As white people from Croatia, are we guilty of having played a part in American slavery that took place several hundred years ago? Teacher, absolutely. Your whiteness makes you complicit in any and all crimes committed by people who share your skin you. Remember, children, if white people use blanket statements to stereotype non-whites, it's vile racism. However, when non-whites do so, it's never racism. For example, when Wanda Sykes tweets that white people are stealers of land, that's simply a fact. It's not racist because it's true. White people are thieves. Child 2. My father is white, but my mom is black. Should I hate my dad and love my mom? And should I only half hate myself? How should I met out my self-loathing teacher that's an excellent question with, with wonderful vocabulary I must admit that kid did have a pretty good vocabulary for a kindergarten student it really depends on how dark your skin is if it is sufficiently light that you can pass for a white person then you should find yourself disgusting overt black features though would certainly help child 3 my white parents have told me that it is not true that only white people do bad things. They pointed to the genocide in Rwanda wherein blacks were exterminating one another. They also pointed to 13 trillion other historical facts that point to the fact that darkness of the human heart knows no skin color. What are your thoughts, Ms. Reverse KKK? Teacher, your parents are white, correct? Child 3, yes. Teacher, they are white, and hence they are lying to you. Child 3, I hate my parents. They are so white. Teacher, I hope that you found this historical lesson about the evils of whiteness enlightening. Now bring out your coloring books and make sure to leave no pattern blank. A white area in your coloring book <laughs> would be a micro cue that you are a racist. Children, thank you, Miss Reverse KKK. I want to be a social justice warrior when I grow up. I hate myself because I'm white. I hate my parents because they are white. I will fight against my skin pigmentation. There you have it, folks. Some wonderfully progressive indoctrination happening. 
as your kids come out of the womb. Cheers, everybody.